In this video, let's quickly look at an example of client-side data fetching in Next.js with SWR. The name SWR is derived from the stale while revalidate cache invalidation strategy and is basically a React hooks library for data fetching. It handles caching, revalidation, focus tracking, refetching on interval, and a lot more. For this video though, we are not going to go through the different features this library has to offer. We will just look at implementing basic client-side data fetching. And for our example, we are going to achieve the exact same result that we did in the previous video. Fetching the dashboard data. What will change, however, is how we fetch the data. Back in VS Code, in the pages folder, I'm going to create a new file called dashboard-swr.js. Within the file, we define a component called dashboard-swr. Within the component, we need to fetch and store the data for rendering. And this is where we need the swr library. In the terminal, run the command yarn add swr. This will install the package. Once the installation completes, let's import it. Import use swr from swr. Since use swr is a hook, we call it within our component. The first argument to this hook is a unique key for the request. I'll just call it dashboard. The second argument is a function where we fetch the data. So async function, and I'm going to copy the fetching logic from dashboard.js. So a fetch request to localhost 4000 slash dashboard and convert the response to JSON. Once we have the JSON data, we return it from the function. Now this data fetching function can be defined here in line, but the common practice is to extract this into a function called fetcher. Let's do the same. So cut and above the component, const fetcher is equal to paste the function code. Now pass fetcher as the second argument to use swr. This hook returns a couple of things from which we can destructure data and error. Data would be our API data and error is any error encountered while fetching the data. Now for the JSX, we can use these two values. So if there is an error, we're going to return an error has occurred. If there is no data, we're going to return loading. If we do have the data, let's render the JSX, which I will copy paste from the previous video. Of course, dashboard data has to be replaced with just data. And that is pretty much it. If we now head to the browser, and navigate to localhost 3000 slash dashboard, we have the output from the previous video. If I navigate to localhost 3000 slash dashboard hyphen swr, we again have the same error as before because we forgot to export our component. So export default dashboard swr. Go back to the browser. We see the output from the component we have defined in this video. And if you ask me, data fetching with the swr hook is much simpler than using the state and effect hooks. And not just that, in db.json, if we change the number of likes to 150, go back to the browser, on the dashboard page, 
we have to refresh to see the latest data. However, if I simply navigate to the dashboard hyphen SWR tab, the SWR hook will automatically fetch the latest data and the UI is updated. This is just one of the many features that SWR offers for data fetching. I highly recommend you give this package a try and I guarantee you'll prefer this over writing your own code for data fetching. All right, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.